Andrew McCall makes beautiful baskets out of kudzu, wisteria, and grapevines. He describes it like a dance. You have to go with the vines. You can't make it do what you want to do. To get the best result, you just take what there and, and let it go and make what it's going to make. So I, I just let them fall, where the, let the curve fall, wherever they go, and I follow it. You know, don't don't wrestle with it. Let's, let's, let's have fun with it. It's not the career he thought he would have. When he got out of the military, he enrolled in college. I just was in a bad fix. No job. I couldn't hit it off with college. College and I just, we don't get along too good. So he stumbled for a while. He says his gift finally found him. In the wintertime, it was cold and I was broke. And uh, and I, I took some vines in the house and called myself making something. I don't know. I called myself making a basket, but it come out to be a chair. Now he's known as the vine man because he spends much of his time in the woods looking for the perfect vines. And he's branched out to making furniture and woodcrafts. I consider myself a maker. I love making stuff. I make stuff, lots of stuff, and, and I enjoy doing it. He can make up to 10 baskets a day at a leisurely pace and has no ambitions of mass producing his art. He says he tried that once. I don't like to be, that's all I'm doing, feeling all the way. I, I, I like to enjoy. I had the uh, experience of working with uh, QVC, and they had me making baskets for night and day for two months and I hate that. And don't ask him to make two just alike. He says that's impossible. Each one is unique because the vines decide what they become. He follows their lead in this dance. To me it's a, a blessing. And I consider that what I do is a gift from God. I can't explain how, why I like it but I love it.